This course is brought to you by AppyPy as part of our Academy series. Now let's talk about the important elements of ASO in App Store and we're going to talk about your app title, your keyword field and the subtitle which are very important. So the first we're going to cover the keyword field. It's something that your users do not see. It's something that you just add when you're uploading every app update but it is something that the review team in Apple checks and they might at times reject your app because you use the wrong keywords or prohibited keywords and it's something that is useful for ASO because you're going to rank for these keywords. You get a hundred characters. Some things you do is you don't use space and you separate each word individually. Even though if you want to make it a phrase, you see like what I'm targeting with this is buy shoes, right? So I, the, the order doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's singular or plural because I'm going to rank for buy red shoes because you see I have red here and I have buy and I have a singular version of shoe so I don't waste the S, right? I don't say shoes here so I don't waste the extra character and I'm able to rank for a word like buy shoes, red, buy red shoes, buy shoes and all the keywords that permutate with it. Now this is right from Apple, a couple of restrictions. Don't duplicate the words, you don't need to say the word app and some things that app developers ask all the time is don't use competing app names and don't use inappropriate or irrelevant keywords and don't use protected words or phrases some or celebrities or trademarks. So for example, you would know Instagram is a trademark and you just don't use that and because a lot of app entrepreneurs ask me, can I use the app names of my competitors? You could try it, but you might get rejected by the review team at Apple when you upload your app. Now that you know how to write your app store keyword field, let's talk about how to write your app store title. This is something that people do see. You get 30 characters. This used to be longer. Apple used to allow for longer lengths. Now it's 30 characters, so you don't have a lot of space to write. And you don't want to overlap with keywords in the keyword field. We just covered that. And you want to make it extremely clear and attractive because a lot of people, the mistake they make is they just have their title be their brand name. The brand name might not make English sense. It might be something they made up because it's a brand. That's fine, but that has no keywords and it's not clear to potential people who will be downloading your app. So what you want to do is an attractive and clear title that's going to compel people to download the app and make the benefit clear. The other thing that is important is now there is a subtitle field. I'll show you how that looks like. This is an example of a web version of an app and this is the subtitle. See it appears right under the title and you also want to use keywords here but you can also be smart about it. You get 30 characters that you can use so it's not very long and it's very visible right under the title. So it's essentially the second written thing people see and you want to reinforce the idea of the title. Remember, this is good for keywords, but it's equally good for getting people to download. Maybe more important to convert people to downloads because numbers of downloads and download rates are a strong ASO ranking signal. So you want to make it really, really strong. And what I'd recommend that you do is use a keyword and combine it with a call to action. For example, you can do something like that. Download now and get whatever the benefit of the app is. That's the keyword you would use like and, and start your business or and, and have fun or whatever the, whatever the app does. So when you say download now, a lot of potential people who might be downloading your app, they don't even actually know if that's something that you wrote or that's something the app store wrote. These are just consumers. And when they see download now, they might actually be compelled to download now. So you actually, by having a call to action to download now, you might just through that increase your downloads a little bit. So that's how you use the subtitle, title, and the keywords field for ASO keyword research and conversion optimization for your iOS app store uh, listing.